Thank you for joining us. This is Sage with your mid-market report for the ASX. The ASX shares higher at noon as silver falls. The silver price rally has cooled off after CME raised margins for the precious metals. Overnight, the precious metal had jumped significantly. In the US, the three major indices closed higher on Monday. DJIA rose 0.76%, S&P 500 was up 1.61%, while NASDAQ rose 2.55%. Australian markets have also followed a similar run. At noon, ASX 200 index was up 1.2% at 6,744 points. Information technology leads the rally, followed by industrials, materials, financials, consumer discretionary and energy. On the other side, healthcare, consumer staples and a right sectors were seen trading in the red territory in the top 200 pack. The best performing stocks in the index are Helios Limited, Afterpay, Smart Group, Credit Corp, Reliance Worldwide. Wild worst performing stocks included Uni Bale, Rodemco Westfield, Blackmores, Remelius Resources, Worley and the A2 Milk Company. Today, the Reserve Bank of Australia, the RBA, will release its crucial monetary policy decision at 2.30pm Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. In market news, QBE has appointed Sue Horton as the Chief Executive of Australian Pacific. He will replace Vivek Bhatia, who is now the Chief Executive of Link Administration. Ms Horton is the MD for insurance at Westpac presently. Temple and Webster has delivered a significant increase in profits in the half-year results. The online furniture retailer has recorded an EBITDA of 14.8 million Australian dollars, while its sales have doubled to 161 million Australian dollars. Shares of Rent.com were up over 100% after the company sold shares to a strategic investor. Bevan Slattery has invested 2 million Australian dollars in the company at 5 cents per share. Credit Corp has reported that the company will resume dividend payments as profits have bounced back. The company has reported a net profit after tax of 42.3 million Australian dollars. Its revenue was down 2% to 188 million Australian dollars. Centuria Industrial REIT has upgraded fund from Operations FFO guidance for the full year. Its first half FFO improved by around 43%. It now expects FFO to be around 17.6 cents per share against 17.4 cents per share for the full year. Thank you for your time. This is Sage reporting for Calkine.